Welcome to Art, Wine, and Anarchy. We are here again at the Exhibit Gallery. Today we are interviewing the Artist of the Month, Ken Sharon. So, how did you get started on your career as an artist? Well, I was lucky enough to live in Europe with my, my dad who was working over there. And so we would travel around to the different countries and everywhere we went, we'd go to the art museums. And so I, I got to appreciate art and then I got to fantasize about having my paintings on the walls of the museums. Well, that is always something to aspire to, isn't it? And so where did you start? Where, where's the first venue you got into? I did have a show in Paris. My first art as a professional artist, my first art expedition was to the Seychelles Islands, from Paris to the Seychelles Islands. I had read about Paul Gauguin's trip to Tahiti, and that intrigued me. And as a young man, I thought that would be really cool. And so instead of, I didn't go to Tahiti, but I went to the Seychelles Islands, which are located between Africa and India in the Indian Ocean. And actually when Paul Gauguin went to Tahiti, uh, his boat went through the Suez Canal and the boat stopped in the Seychelles on the way to Tahiti. So he must have been there too, at least for a short period. And then how about your career here? And so I moved here in 1984. Oh, wow. Okay. And um, You've been here so since I, Reagan was president. <laughs> yeah. And I've been on the same property since then too, because when I got here, I, I bought a piece of property. And first we built a little cabin and so the first year was building the cabin and clearing the land and, right. and, and planting the orchard and doing all that. And I had my first show up at Volcano Arts Center when I moved here. Oh. And that was in 1987. To me, that's, that's a very important place, the yeah. Volcano Arts Center. Yeah, I'm on the board there. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, <laughs> for several years now. Yeah. Cheers, by the way. Cheers, absolutely. So, do you feel like you have a, a mission? Yeah, right. yeah, I do. I feel like it's an artist's role to, and responsibility to help make the world a better place. Mm. I mean, I feel like each one of us in our own way uh, should do our best to, to make whatever, whatever we can possibly do to make the world a better place. And so, so for me, with my artwork, I focus on positive themes like peace and love, interracial harmony, mm. environmental wisdom, nonviolence, all those kind of things. So that's my mission is to create images that get those principles across. Like Douglas Adams said, the purpose of art is to hold a mirror up to nature or in our case, society and make people look at the things that they would rather bury their heads in the sand about and remind them of things that they have forgotten. Many people, even my age, looked at that, that painting I made of Dick Cheney and said, oh yeah, I remember that. It's like, well, how can you forget that? Mm. I mean, it's a lot of why we are struggling economically and so long right now. Well, I, also, I, I feel that in our culture, there's so much violence and violent <laughs> movies and and violent gangster rap and war. And so I feel like it's my duty to, to show peace. It's like John Lennon said, we can openly make war and violence, but we have to hide to make love. And, and that's why I'm calling this the forbidden nudes because there are places where I can't show it. Basically. Yeah, you can't do anything that's sensitive, that might hurt somebody's feelings or offend somebody in any way, which is extremely difficult these days. Yeah, and <laughs> the artists have always played a role in trying to move things forward and show injustice or... To call out injustice yeah. for what it is and 
force people to look at it. Warnica is yeah. probably the one most important piece of art in modern history. I read a whole book about that one painting, about its right. creation, and then when it was first exhibited, and then the whole history of that painting. The title of the book was Guernica, the painting that changed the world. And, and that's it, and it really did. And it, but even before Guernica, you had Francesco Goya and those artists that inspired Picasso to do works that were politically intense, that called out injustice. I don't show the negativity. I try to show you, the, the solution. Wrong, or yes. the or yeah or the positive side yeah. of things because I feel like there's already too much there's already too many people doing the negative yeah and so I try to make a painting that'll make people feel good yeah or in other words the the problem is not the problem the problem is your attitude about the problem yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> very much so let's take a look at your work okay. Stay tuned for the next portion.